For years, the recommendation from doctors was that you should start getting a colonoscopy when you reach the age of 50. But now, more and more younger people have been diagnosed with colorectal cancer. So the push is now for more people to get that test even earlier. WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson shares the story of a patient and a doctor from MedStar Franklin Square Cancer Center. Cheryl Mullaney is cancer free after a long two years. It definitely came out with the surgery. Okay. It's not there anymore. She was diagnosed with rectal cancer. I think I may have suffered a little bit longer than I should have, just uh, maybe out of fear of going to the doctor. This is not an issue that's easy to talk about. It's a little embarrassing sometimes. She was having trouble going to the bathroom, tried some over the counter medications, but they didn't help. So she saw a few doctors and eventually got a colonoscopy. We never want to chalk something up to the standard benign run-of-the-mill issues, especially uh, when we know the incidence of colon and rectal cancer is on the rise. We have to make sure that we rule out the more serious things first. Dr. David Lyle says a colonoscopy is typically for someone over 50 years old. But that age is actually going down because of the increased cases of colorectal cancer in younger patients. Why we're seeing this increased trend, there's probably some environmental component to it, um, what we're being exposed to, potentially dietary, but um, I think that still remains to be seen, um, and, and that research is being done as we speak. In this case, the colonoscopy showed a tumor, which Dr. Lyle knew was cancer right away. So he talked to Mulaney as soon as she woke up just remember being terrified. <laughs> the first thing that I thought about was my children and my husband just had a lot mm -hmm. riding on me getting better. And my husband and I um, just cried together and now let's, let's get at it. And that's exactly what she did. She had to undergo weeks of chemotherapy and radiation. Just weak and tired and groggy. Then she had surgery. So we stapled just below that. Which was done robotically, a minimally invasive procedure. By doing it through smaller incisions, um, it allows for less pain after the operation, uh, faster recovery and faster return. And it was. I didn't really, I thought it was pretty smooth. After surgery, she had more chemo and radiation this time for months. Now she just has occasional checkups to make sure she's still on track. I am cancer free. My last scan showed no sign of any disease. In Baltimore, Erin McPherson, WMAR 2 News. About that, Cheryl attributes her success to her support team at home and from the staff at the hospital. And Dr. Lyle says they have a tumor board. It meets every week to review and talk about each patient to make sure that everything they're getting is appropriate care. Outstanding. All right, Jamie.